In this video, we'll take a look at the latest offerings from some of the best aircraft companies and discuss how much fuel each aircraft burns per hour. We have an exciting list of turboprops for you today, so please take your seat, fasten your seat belts, and enjoy this one. When buying a new plane or even just chartering one, the fuel efficiency rate along with the passenger capacity and range is universally considered an important factor. When you buy a car, it's easier to find out how much gas it uses because the technical specifications list it. When it comes to planes, however, things are a little bit trickier. Fuel costs can make up half, if not more of the aircraft's annual operating costs. For commercial jets and other large aircraft, these costs can range from hundreds of thousands to even millions of dollars. For the purpose of this list, we'll look at the average fuel burn per hour, as well as some of their interesting features. If you're new here, I'm Sophie, and you're watching Aviation Federation, your source of exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. At number 5, we have the P-180 Avanti Evo. Italian aerospace manufacturer Piaggio Aero Industries unveiled this twin-turboprop aircraft in May 2014 at the European Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition in Geneva, Switzerland. It is powered by twin Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A66B engines. It has a maximum range of 1,490 nautical miles or about 2,795 kilometers, and a maximum speed of 402 knots, or 745 kilometers per hour, while flying at 31,000 feet. This aircraft burns about 79 gallons of fuel per hour. The fuselage of the Piaggio P180 Avanti Evo has been enhanced by the addition of a three-surface lift configuration with a tiny front wing, an inverted middle wing, and a flat tail surface height. The design of the aircraft makes it stable and easy to control at high speeds. It includes a cabin in the rear, with space for seven individuals to work and rest. It can serve as a mobile office because it has both satellite and broadband connections. This Piaggio airplane is valued at about 7 million US dollars. Next, we have the Pilatus PC-12 NGX at number four. After more than 7 million flight hours, this plane has shown that it is indeed one of the most useful and versatile business planes in the world. This aircraft is powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6E67XP engine. It has a maximum range of 1,803 nautical miles, or over 3,300 kilometers, and a maximum cruise speed of 290 knots, or 537 kilometers per hour. This aircraft burns up to 55 gallons of fuel per hour. The Pilatus PC-12 NGX has seating for up to 10 passengers and one pilot. Its upgraded propulsion includes an electronic propeller and engine control system with full authority digital engine control designed to reduce cabin noise. Honeywell's Advanced Cockpit Environment System is also used on this plane. In the executive flight deck, this smart cockpit combines the strength of a cursor control device with the flexibility of a smart touch screen. The new executive cabin features ergonomic seats with a full recline, larger seatbacks, and even greater headroom. The Pilatus PC-12 NGX has a starting price of over 5 million USD. At number three is the Kodiak 100. This Kodiak plane is an American utility aircraft built by Quest Aircraft, and it is easily identifiable by its fixed tricycle landing gear. 
It is powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A34 turboprop engine, allowing it to reach a maximum extended range of 1,132 nautical miles, or almost 2,100 kilometers, and a cruise speed of 183 knots, or roughly 339 kilometers per hour. This aircraft burns around 45 to 48 gallons of fuel per hour. The Kodiak 100 is longer than 34 feet and can accommodate nine passengers and one pilot. The aircraft is authorized for short takeoff and landing or STOL operations from unimproved airports. It can stay in the air for around 10 hours, and the speed of its feathering, reversible propeller remains constant. The Summit and Timberline interior packages are available for this model. There is carpeting, faux leather accent panels, seat storage pockets, and cup holders inside the Timberline. The manufacturer's preferred interior option is the Summit, which features club seating, add-on tables and cabinets, and carpeting. The starting price of Kodiak 100 exceeds 2.2 million US dollars. At number 2 is the Piper M600. This Piper plane is the first general aviation aircraft certified globally with Garmin Autoland. This model is powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT-6A42A engine. It can reach a maximum range of 1,658 nautical miles, or 3,070 kilometers, and a cruise speed of 274 knots, or 507 kilometers per hour, at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet. This aircraft burns only 39 gallons of fuel per hour, but that's because it can only carry up to five passengers. We've also shown this plane in our company feature on Piper Aircraft, so check it out if you wish to learn more. With next-generation safety features, powerful avionics, and a luxurious configurable cabin, the Piper M600 sets the standard for general aviation planes. The Halo safety system, which includes the Garmin Autoland, is built into the model as a standard feature. This means that in case of an emergency, this system will use self-driving technology to land the plane quickly and safely at the nearest airport. The Piper M600 can cost more than 3 million US dollars. Up next, we'll get an exciting look at our top spot for this video. But before then, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lastly, at number one, we have the Daher TBM 960. This model is an improvement on the popular TBM 930 and 940, with features that make it easier to fly, safer, and more comfortable than the old versions. The 940 is powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A6060 engine, while the 960 uses the PT-6E66 XT. It has a maximum range of 1,730 nautical miles, or around 3,200 kilometers, and an impressive maximum cruise speed of 330 knots, which is equivalent to over 600 kilometers per hour. This ultra-fast aircraft line is at the top of our list because it burns around 57 gallons of fuel per hour, and the 940 variant can even lower that, at only 37 gallons per hour. The Daher TBM 960 is a digitally controlled turboprop that allows the pilot to put in precise settings to fly the aircraft with maximum efficiency. The cockpit also uses the HomeSafe Autoland system, which is a game-changing innovation that is perfectly paired up with the fully digital engine and the lightweight Hartzell Raptor composite propeller. The cabin features the prestige interior 
offering comfort and convenience through spacious seats in soft leather and touchscreen activated environmental control system, ambient lighting, and dimmable windows. Indeed, these are prestigious amenities for those who can afford an aircraft that costs around 4.8 million US dollars. Now that you've seen our lineup of the most fuel-efficient turboprop aircraft, what do you think of their fuel burn per hour? How would you assess their most recent innovations and cabin features? Which one do you think is worth the asking price? We hope you enjoyed this presentation and do let us know what you would like to see next. This has been Aviation Federation and we hope you could support us by subscribing and giving us a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching and fly safe.